Yo, I know the title of this video might get people on the defensive side, but I will start by saying don't get it twisted, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a truly phenomenal game and a game that I personally sunk in around 70 hours into already. And as a big Rockstar fanboy that I am, I will have to say though that the game is by no means perfect. While Red Dead Redemption 2 does a lot of things right, but for some who might have not picked up the game yet, I thought I would probably construct a list of 5 things that has kind of annoyed me during my 70 hour playthrough through so definitely keep it locked Maybe for some gamers out there this might be a minor thing but for me it's something that I do find quite annoying. Now while you can run around in various towns to your heart content, this is not the case for when you're in camp. Arthur has to walk around at a snail pace which can sometimes be very annoying especially when you just want to wake up from your nap, run to your horse and head out. To make things even more annoying, most of the time where your horse is located or even the person you may want to talk to, they do tend to be far away from where you sleep. To me it is unnecessarily annoying that after a while this can get very aggravating I just say just let me run in the camp Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 does actually have a fast travel system that you can unlock. Also, you can use the cinematic mode to make travelling easier on yourself. However, there are some missions where you have to ride with an NPC. And now, to be fair, sometimes these missions are filled with some interesting story points. But most of the time though, they do feel like they take an age. It can be especially bad if you're on your way to a mission, decide to help a stranger and they want to take you in the opposite direction that you are travelling in. Exploring the West is a lot of fun but sometimes especially when the missions only last a minute or two the time you spend riding to get there can feel more like a chore While I do really respect the concept of having a bounty system in Red Dead Redemption 2, I do think that it definitely does come with flaws. The amount of times that I've been running around town and accidentally bumping into someone who then pulls a gun on me and ends up with me either having a wanted or a bounty on my head is crazy. Also, even when you're out on your horse, to me it seems like people go out of their way to crash into you which can cause a gunfight and you guessed it, another bounty on your head. There always seems to be a witness floating around and when you're just trying to get from point A to B, dealing with this can be really stressful at times. I'll admit this entry is probably on the subjective side but for me Red Dead Redemption 2 didn't really have as many standout characters like the likes of Grand Theft Auto 5 or even the first Red Dead Redemption game in my personal opinion. Some characters such as Dutch, John, Sadie, Meecha and Eagle Flies along with the likes of Rain Falls to me I found interesting however the rest of the cast are rather a little bit on the forgettable side especially the villains that you do come across in the game. The story in Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually really good but sometimes it feels like your camp has too many characters for you to actually care about. So I'll admit whilst playing Red Dead Redemption 2 most of my actions I did kind of tend to be on the good side which maybe some may consider a good thing as there is no incentive in my personal opinion to be bad in Red Dead Redemption 2. To start with the law is always on your back way too quickly no matter if it's robbing a small store or even a train the law will always be there before you know it sometimes even if there is no witnesses. Also there is no point robbing just a random person in the game as the game does kind of give you a enough ammunition, money, resources you need just to get by doing the missions. So I do feel that it would have been nicer to maybe have some form of incentive to try and make you be the bad bandit that you may want to be. Obviously I suppose some gamers out there do choose to do this but I just feel with regarding how the game's balanced it doesn't really encourage that type of gameplay. All in all, as I said at the start of the video, don't get it twisted, Red Dead Redemption 2 is still a very very good game. This has been a game that I've personally been looking forward to playing for years and this definitely met every expectation that I wanted so for some of the gamers who's not actually taken the plunge to buy this game as of yet, to me this is definitely a must own game. Anyway peeps, what do you make of my 5 list of annoying factors surrounding Red Dead Redemption 2? Is there anything that you can relate to or do you think I'm over exaggerating? As always, if you did enjoy this 
urban gameplay video be sure to smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so before and until next urban gameplay video we definitely say peace out people Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.